Levites took their symbol and they came together. It was over 42,000 people that came back. And they came together to celebrate yes. the land of the foundation. All right. And there was great joy yes. and singing and they rejoicing and shouting. Yes. They were really celebrating yes. what God had done. Right. But in the midst of all this joy, in the midst of all this singing, in the midst of all this worship and praise to God, there were those that were weeping. Yes. There was great sorrow in yes. them. Because these were the old ones that remember the old temple that Solomon yes. had made or had built. Yes. And this temple was great and mighty. It was paved in gold and places and silver and bronze. It was a magnificent place. And when they looked at the foundation, they had just been laid. And they fought back to win. That great temple was there. They wept. They wept so loud. The celebration was so loud that you couldn't distinguish who was weeping and who was celebrating. Now, Zion, we, those who have been here, have seen how God increased our numbers here. We look back on that and think. Right now. All the people are here, all the activities going on. We think about that. And then it gives us sorrow because it's not there. Oh, but God had not left us here. He had not left us alone. Yeah. Yeah. Zion has a future yeah. and a hope. Yeah. For good and not evil. Yeah. God is with us. Yeah. And one day he will establish once again in this community. Yeah. But there is also a warning. Because a lot of people in this community now are not the same as us. Yeah. There are more Hispanics, there are still some whites. As far as I know, they might be some Chinese. And some of us have been hurt by these other races or their loved ones. Some of us have just been raised in an atmosphere to greatly dislike these other races. But God is looking on us. And just as He loved us, He wants to love them. Yeah. And we've got to be careful how we treat these yeah. people.